what is your name? What do you do? And how old are you? Um, my name is Grace Jun. Um, I am a costume designer for film and drama, and I am 21 years old. Name something in your life that has greatly in influenced your creative life. Something that has influenced your creative life. Mm -hmm. I think mythology is something that has always influenced me. I've always been very interested in um, Korean and Japanese fairy tales, myths, uh, more ancient religions. Um, I've always loved Greek mythology, Norse mythology, so I think that's something that has always either been an influence or something that like sparks uh, creativity in most of my work. Mm. So when you're in you're designing, you know, you're on the pad, the sketch pad, whatever you're doing, or you're in the computer doing however you do it, um, and things are going very well, very well. How does that feel in your body? Are you aware of a change in your body, the sensation of that? I think so. It's it's different from those who like perform on stages or musicians, I think, because all of our creativity happens like in a studio room or at the kitchen table. But um, when I have a clear vision of who I want a character to be or who they are, I don't even have to worry about how the clothes look or am I drawing the line right. It just automatically kind of comes out on the sketch pad and before I know it, I have something that has so much movement and expression, even if it's just like a pencil sketch. And it's just such like a surprisingly quick and painless um, process, I think, compared to projects where I seem to struggle over who a character is. So when I have that click or when I have that inspiration, um, I feel like there's sort of this barrier that kind of shuts off and I don't feel self-conscious or anything anymore mm -hmm. and it just happens a lot faster I think. Mm -hmm. Is there emotion attached? Is there joy or is there a neutral feeling? I, I don't want to put words in your mouth but I'm wondering. Um, an emotion? Relief is one. <laughs> and. I think it's something akin to when a mother sees her child, I think. Like, I kind of mm -hmm. view all of my sketches as my little babies. They mm -hmm. take a while. But um, there is something about seeing this completed product on paper and then going through the material process and then seeing it on stage at the first dress rehearsal or seeing it... Um, on the first day of a film shoot where you think, wow, like that's, that's what I saw, mm -hmm. I think. It's something that's just so, it just kind of fills me with, with a weird mix of, I think, pride and happiness and excitement. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So what does the world, why does the world need your art? Why is it important? I think it's important in, in different aspects. I think the most technical one is we are, in a sense, historians. We create stories and narratives and people out of, out of clothes and trends and history that has happened before, which I think is how we're different from fashion designers. Um, but I think in a creative sense, as a theater artist, it's important because we are now the ones creating the new myths and the new stories and the new narratives that will then be told to generations to come. Um, and I think it's just really important to not let go of the fact that we are the new vessels, I think, of spreading, um, spreading these stories and spreading, um, spreading these narratives of different people, of different different groups and of different nationalities. Mm -hmm. um, so I think 
that's why it's very important. Very good. Well, thank you so much for sharing your creative imperative.